Good day. My name is Simon Browning and in this demonstration we're going to show how uh, site administrators can edit flash elements um, using Type 03. On your screen you should see the Puck and Wings website. Puck and Wings is a restaurant up at uh, Young and Finch in Toronto. Uh, they serve 50 flavors of wings, 50 salad toppings, and some good beer as well. Um, but looking at the front page, you can see there's actually two flash sections on here. One, there's a little scrolling section that is um, displaying messages, uh, and it could be things like come and join us for the game, fast and friendly, don't drink and drive, all types of things like that. Um, and then there's another one over on the right hand side that's showing uh, trivia. Both of these elements are editable by the client through their Typo3 backend, or basically they can log into a web page and update these two things. They don't have to know anything about Flash, HTML, anything like that. So let's go ahead and edit. Actually, we need to add a new item to this box here, so we're going to do that as a demonstration. So the first thing I need to do is I need to log into my backend. So I bring up my admin page and I log in. And I get to my standard Typo3 backend. I switch to page view, and I can see all the pages that are actually on the website. Our menu, gallery, franchise, pro shop, locations, etc. There's two hidden pages up here. They're actually not in menu pages. See how the icon's a little different. One called ticket messages and one called chalkboard messages. They, that will be where we will do the editing for the ticket messages or the chalkboard messages. So let's go back there again. Um, and that is a ticket message so I'm gonna to go to that and actually this is a special page and I need to be in list view because uh, essentially all the messages that show up um, are stored as a list a list of messages now I'm gonna turn on my extended view here so I get some other icons now I have my edit pencils and other things and what we want to do is we could edit any of the ones that are here already let's actually click on the edit pencil to look at one of these and we can see uh, hockey pool, follow your teams on our 13 HDs. Uh, in this, uh, the way this is set up, the pipes, the vertical lines here, they're the line breaks. So it'd be hockey pool, enter, follow, enter your teams, etc. So I don't want to edit a current one, though. I'm going to create a new one. So to do that, I'm going to hit this new record button, and I get a blank box. And the new one I need to edit, I'm just going to go to another window here and check it. Puck and Wings actually has a new restaurant opening, so I'm going to let me copy it out of my email. Um, actually, it's all in caps. Well, let's put it in. So we have new location opening in July, Markham, Unionville, in the old Brody's restaurant, 4450 Highway 7. So we need to separate that into, I think it's five lines. So let's do... New location, opening in July, Markham, Unionville, in the old Brody's restaurant is probably about enough. Um, and let's save that and see how it looks. So I'll save. It's my save icon. Um, and then I'm going to go and look at the website, and I have to do a refresh because it's just still scrolling through the ones that were there before. There we go. New location, opening in July, Markham, Unionville, in the old Brody's restaurant, 4450. Beautiful. Now the message is a little bit too long, um, so we can either split it over two messages or uh, maybe trim it down a little bit. I think I'll tr probably trim it down a little bit. But that's it. That's all a client has to do. And to edit the, these ticket messages, it's the same thing. Um, a chalkboard messages, sorry, I would click on chalkboard messages and you can see that we have the same list of items. We can edit any of the ones that are already there um, or, or create a new one. And once created in the back end here, it automatically shows up the, on the website. Client needs to know nothing about Flash, HTML, uh, anything webby really except how to log into the back end of Typo3 and, and edit one of these little guys. Thank you very much.